Are you having difficulty getting your books formatted exactly right for Amazon KDP? Well, stick around because I'm gonna tell you exactly what I use to do that process and how exactly I go about doing it. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. All right, so let's get into it. When it comes to Amazon KDP, you're going to need to get your books formatted for different formats. And some of these formats include, you're gonna need an EPUB version for your Kindle version, you're going to need to have a PDF for your paperback and your hardback version, and depending if you're going in other formats, it could be the case that you would also need to have it in some others. In the old days, they would also need it in a Mobi format, but that's no longer necessary. Now, my number one pick when it comes to doing the formatting is definitely going with a program called Juto. You can see my affiliate link below in the description. This is an amazing tool that has the ability to format your books in every possible format you would ever want. So as you can see here, I'm inside of Juto right now as we're looking at this here and you can see that uh, inside of Juto, it has a number of different elements that we can see here. So for example, you this is, an example of a book that due to themselves produce. I've run over 200 books through this particular program and my uh, my formatting made easy course also goes through exactly how to use this tool effectively, including my supercharged template for this particular tool. So one of the things you can get a little bit overwhelmed when you first get started, but there's a couple areas you would wanna take a look at. So one of the areas is right here and underneath here, you're able to see where your metadata is for the book. These are the different things like your title and your subtitle, the description and these things, they will go inside of here for the metadata, including the cover. Then you're also gonna have the main areas of the book. So you'll have the different chapters that are gonna all be connected in here. And as you can see, it's fully capable of handling the images that you're gonna put inside of your document. And when you click on any of these, you can choose exactly the size, the width and height. You can choose if you wish to have borders, backgrounds. There's all sorts of things that you're able to do with your images that you're gonna have inside of your book. And as you can see here, see he's chosen to center them. He's showing step-by-step step also how to go through exactly this tool, which I consider to be one of the easier tools to use when it comes to formatting your books. The, the other thing that makes this one super simple is that it uses styles. So that's the first thing, which is, see like here, for example, when I click on this, the, the let's say the chapter one, and you'll see it shows up as a header one. And you can of course change it to a different header, right? So if we selected it, we could also make it a, we could, you can change the style of a given one. Like this guy's listed as a header one, we could change them as a header two, but I'm gonna put them back as a header one. From there, you also have the ability to go under the exact styles that you see here and you can change what they do. So for example, if I want all of the header ones, which are used here and here and here. So in other words, in the entire document, every one of the header ones that are used for these, these ones here, I can simply change change every one of them you see here so if I click on this area here it'll pull it in under styles I see header one and if I right click on header one I can edit the style for header one right and then it will change it for everything in the thing that includes the indents and the spacing this was one of my clients recently was asking how do you go about doing that you see and you're able to control if you want spacing before the paragraphs and how much spacing we want after the paragraphs we can even change the fonts we're using even though I would highly recommend using Georgia, I find that to be a very useful font to do. The other thing that you're gonna do with this specific tool when using Juto is you're going to want to remember that you 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 pretty much can match any style or format that you're gonna see in a standard uh, a standard book that you'd ever read. The other thing is, is that it has the ability to do cleanup. So when you first pull a document into here, it has some auto import abilities to go straight from like a Word document directly into this document. So that's the first thing. The other thing is when you do the cleanup that it has built inside of the program, it will remove all of those extra uh, details that you would normally see inside of your normal books. Like in terms of word, it adds all these additional symbols and invisible things that create quite a bit of a problem. Usually when we're dealing with, with our book, we're trying, we're trying to remove those because when it comes into the eBooks, suddenly they'll show up or the spacing isn't right or the bullet points don't look right. I tried this with many other tools. You can even try to import word directly into, uh, into, uh, into K Amazon KDP, but that's going to have a problem. I've also used Calibre to try this. 
to produce these EPUB files, but they also do not come out correct. And particularly the second issue that they have, not only these weird formatting things, which Juto completely removes, but in addition, one other thing that it does is it will build your table of contents. And as you can see, the table of contents then is built out of, now it has the entry one and that's a table of contents entry two. So it's able to go down as far as you want. You see, so it has all of the little chapters and sub chapters and it automatically builds it based upon the things. You see, this is a header two. And whereas this was a header one at the beginning. So in your table of contents, it'll automatically grab all those header twos all of those header ones and it will pull them all together and put them together for you. So this was also one of the things I found when I tried to hire somebody on Fiverr to go about doing this process, we found it was really frustrating. And the reason it was so frustrating when, we're, when I was talking with them, it was because, well, they had produced it, they, they sent it to me, but then when I shifted the colors inside of uh, my Kindle file on my Kindle device, suddenly the, it was all off because they had hard coded the colors. But Juto will find that among another 500 to 1,000 different types of errors and bugs that you can have. I've never seen a single error or bug that I wasn't able to get fixed in Juto in really not that much time. It takes very little time. And the people who go through my course, we specifically go through this and we go back and forth if we see any strange errors or bugs that we're not sure how to do. But normally what we do is we pull in the document, we add the, the formatting that we, that we need. So in other words, we adjust the style so it's exactly perfectly right into the template that we have. Then the next thing we do, we have all of the formatting. It's all in paragraph style and then we move it to that then we split it into the different chapters like a little control H command will just split it and then these chapters that you see on the left hand side here they then will be um, each of these will be broken into a chapter and so it's all broken apart then we clean the whole document we tell it to create the table of contents and at that point you're ready to come straight down to the configuration phase which is right here and as you can see, EPUB, Google Play, EPUB, Smashword, EPUBs, Kindle, Open Document, Text, MP3, Smashwords, HPUB, EPUB Sample, and EPUB 3. So in other words, and then you just simply hit the compile and launch, and then you're able to look at it. I like to look at the document, the EPUB version in Calibre, which is a free tool that you can use in order to look at, e, look at EPUB files. I find that to be very helpful so that we can see that everything's properly aligned and that everything looks fantastic, which it does. And you have to Remember, there are no page numbers in EPUBs. One of my other clients recently was taking a look at it and he was like, I think the formatting is off on my books. Because when I look at it, it's sometimes on this page and sometimes it's separate. And I had to point out to him that on e when you're looking at an ebook, there are no pages. So if you increase the font or decrease the font, it will change the location of the images that you have and also all of the text that you have in that particular document. And so that was something that it's easy to not completely see how that plays in. But the big reason I went from Scribner, which was where I went originally over to Juto, which I've not regretted my move from the one over to the other, was specifically because here in Juto, something really magical happens. It's that when you're going to go to the paperback version of your book, you're going to simply take the configuration and you're gonna put it over to open document. We're going to take it over to the correct, over to open documents. They use Libra Writer. It goes over to Libra Writer. And then from there, it automatically has everything looking flawlessly correct. And we just tell it to produce the table of contents. And then it, we have the table of contents all set up. And in addition, you're going to have, you're going to see the entire book. You'll see all of the pages and it's exactly aligned. And if we, if it's grabbing any wrong pages, we just simply change the formatting on the original Juto file and then put it out. When we're ready to EPUB, we put it on the EPUB, we compile. When we're ready to do any of the other formats, we're able to do them right away with a single click. This is one of the top reasons I highly recommend this piece of software that I have used for over 200 times. I trained up my entire team in order to use this specific piece of software because it just is so easy to use. It really is really easy. And one of the big things that so many self-publishers aren't paying attention to when you first get started, it's that you're going to come back and need to edit your books. This is not a one and done. When you have put your book on the market, you're going to find mistakes that you're 
you're going to want to fix. In addition, you're going to learn how to optimize your book. A lot of the things I teach on this channel about optimization, and you're going to want to put that in the book, like your lead generation, giving a free thing away to get your, your ideal readers to get on your email list. You can stay in touch with them, ask them to help you with leaving reviews on your book. In addition, at the end of the book, you're going to ask them, you're going to show them all of the other books you've come out with, the books you haven't come out with yet, but you will come out with them. You're going to need to come back here and add them in there. We want to make it easy for people to simply click and be able to get straight away to your book, right? Does that make sense to the other books that you have? And also the other thing to remember that I really like with this tool is it's easy to add footnotes. So when you, for example, have links in your book that will work great from the Kindle version, your, your ideal reader, when they're coming along in the paperback version, how are they supposed to find it? Well, the answer is you're gonna have footnotes and you simply can just select the text that's in there and you can very easily just add a footnote. See, insert, and you would just be like, look, picture, drawing, media objects, look at page break, comments, horizontal, and including, uh, and let's see here, and then you also had the, had the footnote issue where you're able to add them in there to the text as well. So you would have like a hyperlink and then you'd have the footnote. So a person who's getting the, the paperback version, they also will be able to get to your links and grab your freebies and the other things that you have in the book if they're not just reading the, the, the paperback version. So these are a number of the key reasons that make this tool by far the best tool you can possibly, uh, if you're going to invest in your self-publishing business, which I'm telling you, you can do it, of course, everything for free, but why would you do that if such powerful tools tools exist in order to help you ensure that your books are all flawlessly formatted. And I can tell you with 100% surety of all the students who've gone through my book for formatting made easy course, when they're working through this particular course, they've discovered exactly the same thing, which is really we can match any style and format you see in any professionally done book and you're going to find it directly inside of this particular tool, Juto. It's able to meet it. And so Go ahead and take a below, look below in the description and you will find for book formatting, Juto, and I highly recommend, you can even get it for free, you can just download it for free and test the thing out. They have a money back guarantee so there's no problems there. And one final note on this particular product, which I definitely stand behind, the person who developed this product usually answers any questions within three to six hours of asking. It's unbelievable. The developer is really on board, stands behind this particular product, and is willing to help you out. So go ahead and check out below here and I'll see you up above for another video. Thanks.